Alright guys, welcome back, and this is the very first video of a little mini-series, I want to say, because I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the basic framework of a common piece of software. And that includes, I'm going to be first showing you guys how to make a drop-down menu. Of course, pretty much every software you buy nowadays have these menus at the top where you click and they drop down. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make a toolbar, so that is of course right under your main menu at the top they're gonna have these little common tools that you can use cut copy paste um, print all that stuff so those are the common tools that you see in pretty much every piece of software and the last thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create is this little it's actually called um, a tool tip bar or a status bar at the bottom basically it gives you the current status of your project it says you just saved it or you have like 10 lines selected pretty much just little indicators to let the user know what's up <laughs> so those are the common core pieces of pretty much every software even the one we're using right now I could just demonstrate it on this but that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do and they're actually all built in to Kinter so we're not just like gonna be creating them from scratch making anything like located at the top all of this crap is actually built in so pretty freaking cool it makes it really easy so the first thing I want to do is this of course a typical piece of software whenever you have a drop down menu and hit save as it's obviously going to save your project but I don't have time to show you guys all the functionality so I'm just want to make I just want to make like a really simple function and I'll just name it do nothing and I'll call this whenever I like click an item in the drop down menu just so I can show you guys how to call functions from those menu items but of course I'm not going to be building like an entire text editor this is just an example to teach you guys so whenever I click something we'll just print something stupid out on the screen it'll be like um, do nothing okay okay I won't so this will be the most complicated piece of software that did nothing that you have ever built in your life so get excited because I probably can't sell it for millions but you will learn a whole bunch of cool stuff so after this what I want to do is I actually want to throw this root right under there so I'm going to build a basic function and then I'm going to create our main root window so right now we have a blank main window so of course what I tell you guys I was going to do first show you how to create a menu at the top so this is actually really easy of course whenever you want to create an item in Kinter you have to give it a variable or an object name and in order to create a menu the class for this is menu so set it equal to menu and then it says okay you want to create a menu where do you want to put it well we only have one window and it's called root so why not stick it right in there so now we have a menu object appearing in our main window the only other thing we need to do now is configure it to make sure that Kinter recognizes it is a menu and I'll explain this later on so root config this pretty much says okay I'm gonna configure a menu that's the parameter and it says well what is your menu well we actually named it menu so this is actually the parameter name and this is just the name I gave it I actually like I typically don't like the name objects the same as the parameter but for some reason I don't know why maybe I'm just weird um, it's just really easy to make sure you have everything in the right place a lot of times when you're working with Kinter so this pretty much says we're configuring a menu for this piece of software that we're building and it's this this one right here menu and a cool thing about this is Kinter already has um, the knowledge of how to make menus you don't need to explicitly say okay put this at the top it already knows whenever you configure a menu to put it at the top it already knows what items to accept it pretty much takes all the hard work and does it for you so right now in this line of code it already puts it at the top and prepares it for um for you to build more stuff on it how freaking awesome is that so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and um make this file right here with drop down functionality so actually let's copy this right here so we'll make a file and an edit drop down and we'll add some of these items as well 
So the first thing I want to do is I want to create that sub menu. So of course this sub menu would be the thing that drops down. So I'll name it sub menu and set this equal to, of course it's a menu item. So menu and where is this going? Well, it's not going in your root. It's actually going inside another menu. So menu. So right now we're creating a menu item within this main menu because this right here is pretty much just a blank menu bar at the top and now we we're pretty much building the pieces to put inside it. So what we have to say after this is okay. We want to add an item that has drop down functionality and drop down functionality is called cascading in Kinter. So take that menu which is our main blank menu and we want to add a cascade. In other words, we're going to add a drop down menu to this. Well, the first thing it asks for is give me a label. Give me some text to put on here. Well, we'll just copy this one and put file. So this is pretty much the button. Think of it. And the next thing it says is okay, since this is a cascade, what do you want to appear? Or, in other words, what's your sub menu? Well, how convenient, we just named it submenu. So what this line of code does is it creates a file button and it says, okay, this has the drop down functionality and this is the menu you want to appear as the drop down. So right now that's pretty cool, but we have nothing in our drop down menu. It's just blank. It says file and when you click it, just an empty void of the universe drops down. So let's add some crap to the drop down menu. So the first thing I want to do is actually Let's add like two of these. I don't feel like copying them all, so I'll just do uh, two of them real quick. So, of course, whenever you want to add something to a menu, type what menu you want to add it to, that submenu, and it's actually add command. Now, what this allows us to do is not only give it a label, which is the text, and what's this first one? New project with some dots. So we can not only give it a label, but we can also say, okay, the command basically adds functionality to it. So what function do you want me to call whenever you click new project? Well, we'll just say, call this stupid function because we don't have time to actually, you know, write a sub window that allows us to pick a new project, whatever. So now we have one item in our drop down menu or sub menu. So whenever we click new project in our program, it's just going to say, okay, okay, I won't. So let's add one more. And what is this? New. So of course, whenever we want to add something else, just give it a new label. And of course, typically you would want to point it to another function, but we only have one function, simple enough. So now we have a drop down menu with two items in it. And actually I'll show you guys how to create this separator. So you see above settings and above import settings and save all, they're pretty much broken up into different sections. And this is just to organize your commands. So anytime you want to create this line, it's actually called a separator in Kinter and it's probably the easiest thing you'll ever learn in your entire life. Say, this is my menu and all I want to do is add a separator. How easy is that? Doesn't even take any parameters. That's going to create your line to separate one group of items from another group. It's just for the user so that they, I don't know, so they can see what commands are related and what menu items are related. Simple enough. So actually, since I have a separator, I'll add one more. We'll actually add this one, the exit one. So we'll say submenu and of course, we want to add command and the label for this will be exit and the command for this I could just copy this we'll just put do nothing so now we have like a mini version of this it says new project new and then I'll have a separator and say exit simple enough so now before I actually just uh, run this and show you guys I'll make one more menu item edit just so you guys can see once you have two you guys are going to understand how to make like ten a thousand whatever so of course 
we want to make another menu item. So instead of submenu, it's going to look a lot like this. I'll name it edit menu and set it equal to menu menu. So this is pretty much saying we're going to create another item in our main menu. And now it says, all right, well, start doing stuff to it or else it's going to be a pretty boring item. So the first thing we want to do is menu and we'll just add a cascade. So this is pretty much saying, how do you want to add this? Well, we want to add it as um, a dropdown functionality. So the label, actually, I'm just going to copy this. Too lazy to type out like two words. So the label for this one is going to be edit. And of course, the menu for it is going to be edit menu now. So we're pretty much saying this is a drop down menu and this is a drop down menu. So now um, I'll just add one more line before I run this program and that's this. Let's add something to it. So on our edit menu, we'll add um, one other item to it and what's in here. Uh, actually this one changes depending on what you did. So let me add redo instead. So label equals redo and the command can just be do nothing as well. So this program is going to do a whole lot of nothing. Pretty sweet. So now actually let me run this and see if I got any errors. All right, looking pretty good. So of course our file menu has new project and it says now instead of new because I'm an idiot. I actually messed that up twice. Now project and now. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so file, new project, new, and of course, remember, this add separator command on line 16, that's what this does. It adds that line between new and exit. So, of course, anytime you click any of these, it just prints out, okay, okay, I won't. It calls whatever command. And, of course, edit. We just made this one a really simple item. Just had one element on it or item, whatever you want to call it, and they all point to this do nothing function. But that is basically how you create a main menu at the top of your program. And this is how you add different items to it. This is adding the item and this is telling it how you want it to behave. And once you got that basic functionality down, you can go ahead and add the individual items to each sub menu. And of course, remember, typically you want to make them call a different function but right now we're just having them all call the same one but this is the basic framework for it so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna copy this and put it on my forum so if you guys ever want the basic framework you don't have to you know go type it out a whole bunch of times you can just copy it paste it into your program and you know just change basically these labels to make them however I don't know however you want them to appear in your own piece of software so thank you guys for watching in the next video i'm going to show you guys how to make the toolbar at the top and also that status bar at the bottom so all right i need like a drink of water or something so anyways thanks subscribe i'll smile you later